way of getting investment. Ah. And getting investment obviously is a challenge for any startup, but the crypto space has been very welcoming to us. And we are really excited to be connected with uh, game exchange and we have you know we've been very welcomed by the crypto community and that is very exciting um so it's a it's an exciting time for crypto it's an exciting time for gaming esports content creation and all of the creative spaces and we see a lot of opportunities to uh, learn and grow and you know bring more people into the crypto space that might not uh, look at crypto favorably if they're not you know if they don't understand it. So our our goal um, going forward is actually educating people in you know, even in the school systems, uh, we are looking at working with organizations to bring crypto education to the school systems and to summer camps. Uh, but, you know, really uh, demystifying crypto is a big goal of ours. And then we also are working on charitable and philanthropic uh, projects. Uh, we we have several team members who either suffer from disease, cancer specifically, or um, are like unstable because of the way the economy is right now. Uh, rent and food insecurity are a big thing that we are looking to address. And it's just, it's, you know, we, we are definitely focused on, you know, what is happening for people here and now. And our goal is to help people and help fix problems. So with that, um, I would like to announce that we recently had a rule change, um, Hannah and I. Um, I am now focusing on operations for the company. I have been CEO for the last several months, but Hannah is actually now our CEO. So with that, I'll turn it over to you, Hannah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Honestly, a crazy spot. Um, I was uh, slowly kind of relating to um, hype, hype man earlier with the, the the puppies. I mean, I have one dog, but I just just got out of the shower three minutes before the the meeting, so I definitely understand the the rush and the the being human um, behind all of it. But yeah, it's I'm in a in a crazy spot. I'm really excited to learn more about you know Web three and NFTs and stuff because I'm still fairly new to the space myself. Considering I've, uh, you know, t uh, two months ago I was <laughs> I just turned twenty one. I I just drove twenty seven hours from Sacramento to Austin to kind of help art chops and 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 help them pursue um these goals I, I really do see a lot of potential one of my goals before even going to art shops was to create some sort of program to help content creators because a lot of the stuff on youtube is very generic there's not really and there's no set method on how to succeed which i think a lot of people don't understand it's like there is definitely a strategy um and you can do it you just uh it's not something you can really get off of youtube so i i figured there's got to be some sort of program where we can introduce people to certain people and and let them have access to their mentors and and whatnot so that's another way that art shops would be <clears throat> helping uh creatives specifically um in like high school and uh college and i mean i guess all ages to be honest with you but yeah um i'm really excited uh I I I don't I will admit I don't know everything that I'm doing. I'm still very, you know, I'm very new to the space with everything, so I'm not going to know questions 
like I'm not going to know answers to probably most of your questions right now. Um, but that's just because I, since this new role, uh, I basically went from trying to create content and create ideas for art shops to actually, you know, reaching out and making, you know, connections with people and stuff. And um, I feel like that takes a little bit out of my time in regards to learning um, just everything that I need to know about this role. But um, I'm excited. I'm a, I'm a quick learner. Um, the one reason I thought I that this was like even plausible for me to be offered CEO this quickly um, was I took a job a, a long time ago, right before COVID hit, actually. Um, I was only there for two weeks and they already wanted to promote me to manager, even though it was a, a job I've never, never done before. So I, I know I have potential in regards to, to learning fast. And I think that I'm, I'm really excited to be like the visionary and like the CEO role because I feel like a lot of my creative energy is going to come out in a good way and and, and um, really target you know my my generation because you know I'm 21 so I am still I'm still younger and while also having you know Michael be that CF, COO role role and you know uh, cater to the the older side and and I guess the more experienced and I'm I'm willing to admit that I'm not the most experienced so. Yeah, uh, that's that's basically the most about me. Awesome. Well, perfect. Thank you guys for uh, those intros. A lot of great information there. Uh, first of all, great background on you, Michael, and and uh, great sort of uh, vision in terms of art shops. And great to meet you as well, Hannah. And congratulations on Spot. And huge announcement um, for your team and for you guys. Obviously, that is um, encouraging sort of advancements within your project. And so it's great to um, great to see that announcement. So if you guys are just jumping in, we did have a, a huge announcement in terms terms of with Art Chops. Uh, Michael's going to be uh, moving to COO and Hannah uh, just bumped up to CEO and sort of leading the the push at Art Chops. Um, so again, super big. Uh, if you guys have any sort of announcements about, the, about that, we'd love to sort of push those on when they publicly get fully announced as well. Uh, so please do uh, don't forget to share. Um, and for a couple of you guys who did jump in as well, um, on the short, Art Chops is a benefit corporation currently dedicated to both educational and charitable work uh, between games and blockchain. Um, so they actively aim to fix problems within this sphere. Um, they do uh, help organizations within whether it's esports, school systems, um, and everything along those lines and sort of uh, targeting um, those and providing assistance within those uh, who are having, whether it's hardships throughout this last couple of years. Um, and just hardships in general, and uh, obviously there's a, an effort there. So it's really cool to see, and that's one thing as well, that we were attracted to our TROPS in terms of with our partnership um, and our partnership levels. Um, but maybe in terms of the sort of the, the secondary question, are you guys currently live, or do you guys currently have a platform, or what is the um, main goal for our TROPS, if you were to sum it up in like a sentence? Yeah. So I would say right now we are a little bit in a pivot because we are working on building an app that would provide a variety of services like matchmaking people together and things like that. However, um, it's, you know, we are still currently in the fundraising process and we're basically you know seeing a a snag in the process of we need to actually get servers going to be able to provision the app i guess is the best way to put it so what we are focusing on right now is content we are looking at running a summit and you know we call this right now the summit is called demystifying crypto we are actively looking for speakers and sponsors um that is one of our big initiatives and our second big initiative right now is something hannah can talk about We have so many initiatives. Which which one? <laughs> um, the a weekend tournaments with Matthew. Ah, yes. Okay. 
Yeah, I feel like we have like four different projects we're doing. <laughs> um, so uh, back in December, um, I was introduced to a good friend of um, Michael's. Um, his name is Matthew Nowacki. Um, he's a AAA game developer. He's worked with Warren Spector on Epic Mickey, Epic Mickey 2. Um, he's worked on a game called ReCore um, with Hellfire Games. Uh, he's done a bunch of stuff. Really, really cool guy. Um, but unfortunately, he, he uh, has a rare form of uh, cancer and uh, has a tumor. And um, uh, because of that, he, it's been kind of limiting his ability to work and actually, you know, uh, like what used to take him like 10 minutes to do, now it takes him an hour to do. So it's like life for him has become very difficult. And on top of that, his roommate of three years decided to up and leave him, um, like completely dry. They just re-signed their lease at their apartment and um, then his roommate just left. So now he's basically facing eviction. Um, so, you know, he's going through all these different things, cancer, eviction. Um, you know, he, he lost his sister back in 2020 from a car accident. You know, he's he's been suffering a lot of losses. and. Um, it is definitely a huge goal of mine to try and get him somewhere better. So uh, me and Michael have uh, worked with um, another uh, organization called Virtual Reload. And uh, we've been um, doing weekly tournaments um, just to kind of see if we can raise awareness around, you know, hey, you can still hang out and play with Matthew um, for with Mario Kart. Um, you have a chance to win. Uh, I, th I think we're giving away an original um, Nintendo system for the winner. But um, so we're, 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 yeah, we're just doing a bunch of stuff. And, uh, and we, we were really looking for that support with those tournaments right now. So if you know of any, you know, streamers we're looking for, we're, we're, uh, right now we're trying to target people around 20,000 followers. Um, that's kind of our target range um, to try and get, get those numbers out for, for Matthew. But if you are anything bigger or smaller, very open to collaborating. Um, I'm all about supporting supporting all of our fellow creators and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I guess that's just been one of our one of our bigger bigger goals is to help Matthew get out of that eviction situation as well as trying to get him the funds needed to help uh, with his medical bills and everything that he's been going through. Okay, very cool, very cool initiative. It's uh, great to see you guys obviously uh, pushing out and um, exploring some of these and taking the opportunity to um, jump in with people who um, a lot of people might pass on, right? And and I think that's a very important thing is, um, you know, as you mentioned, he's a AAA developer who had, uh, you know, a great, uh, you know, let's call it a career in terms of pushing out games. Um, and then certain circumstances have sort of pushed him back, but that doesn't mean that he's no longer a developer or no longer can create, you know, good content or ideas or, or games around those things. So it's great to see you guys doing that. And please, if there is any sort of events going on around that, uh, feel free to share it within our circles, uh, pass it on to myself or Hype Master, and we'll be able to um, push that out. If it's on Telegram as well, we have our, our mods there, Cynthia, Hype Master, um, Sheriff and uh, Chris as well. Uh, so please feel free to forward any of those events on to us and um, and we can sort of uh, fan them out as well. Uh, when is that uh, sort of slated? When is the next one? Is that, did you say Saturday or what? Uh... Yeah, we we'll... have, there's a link that I can share with you that'll take you to the whole, um, it's uh, basically the landing page for it. Yeah, feel free to drop that in the in the main lounge chat as well. Main lounge, yeah. Cool. Yeah, so, yeah, those two initiatives are, like, the biggest right now. Demystifying Crypto and our initiative for Matthew. So, Demystifying Crypto right now is, um, basically... We we're still in the early stages of setting it up. I do have a image that I could share um, that is basically just kind of a flyer describing what we we're planning out. But basically the idea of demystifying crypto is a summit where we bring in people from 
both the traditional industries, um, whether that be games or also we're looking at a variety of industries like music, comics, etc. But the idea is to bring together people from the traditional area and people from the crypto space so that there can be a discussion and the goal is basically to talk about what's happening in crypto and how it's helping people but also do it in a way that is as jerkin free as possible or if there is jerkin brought up basically having a moderator in each panel where you know so that uh terms are explained and it is actually educational to like your average listener that isn't uh you know a crypto person yet so but the end goal of that is that we want to start having weekly youtube shows um both um like dive, doing deep dives into different crypto terminology as well as having interviews with different projects. And then our goal is that we would also have uh, a Patreon, possibly also other ways of people being able to get in touch with us um, if they're looking to do a project having it so that they can book time with us and you know get their project ramped up um so yeah as i said our goal is you know help people uh fix things and help people unlock their economic potential which crypto obviously does and a lot of people just are not quite there yet So, you know, we want to kind of unblock that sort of, you know, unblock the concerns people might have um, and figure out what the best path forward is for, you know, say, say, say they have an idea but haven't really developed out anything yet. Uh, What we would like to do is figure out a way that we can build roadmaps and you know if they want you know we would be able to ramp up a team for them and then so that's there's demystifying crypto there's the project for uh, helping people like matthew and then our longer term project which we can't say full details about yet is um actually starting to get uh curriculum developed in schools and for summer camps and we don't have a lot of public details on that yet but you know i i can answer questions and if i can't say something yet i'll just say that (laughs) Okay, no, no problem. I, I think that's a, that's a very good sort of sum and sort of to just sort of summarize. Uh, you know, demystifying crypto is big in terms of providing that ability for people and understanding for uh, new people coming to the space. Um, and then obviously the content creation that you guys are going to be uh, generating as well. That's obviously big to sort of push out educational pieces. Um, just to sort of note, uh, to sort of add on to the demystifying crypto and the reasons why we sort of, uh, you know, had the conversations with Art Chops and wanted to partner with them um, so badly was uh, because education coming into the blockchain space is a very, very big thing. Um, we spend a lot of time um, with developers, educating them on the at the very beginning, at the first, you know, several meetings that we do have, the first few months, uh, sometimes we're spending a lot um creating that educational piece around what they're jumping into, what to expect, uh, certain things that they're going to go through. Um, As we sort of ramp up these conversations, uh, you know, unless we're going to ramp up with scale, as we sort of ramp up, we're having to sort of tighten some of these conversations so that we can get to their sort of real bread and butter and their, what they want to accomplish within the blockchain space. So partnering with uh, a team, 
like Archops is great for us because as game projects and companies come through that are maybe on their earlier um, sort of the beginnings of their project, we can sort of leverage our chops and say, hey, here's a, you know, a, maybe one developer, here's a small studio that is, has some interest within uh, blockchain and crypto, but they're several months out or they're a year out or they're two years out. Um, let's work together in terms of providing them the education for them to get comfortable within the space for them to, uh, you know, know what they're getting into. And then as Michael said, if they do want to sort of ramp up and provide a team and sort of provide that sort of that, 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 matchmaking with you know people like michael who are great content creators and great developers to sort of leverage those opportunities then that's where we see fit and then once things are sort of you know done through and they're through the education and onboarding pieces that art shops offer then they come back to sort of game exchange and uh you know continue to push their project and dream with art shops obviously following behind and sort of assisting along the way um so again we're super excited on our side um, to have this partnership be announced. It might not seem for other people who don't really have the true vision that you know we've shared, Michael, in terms of the conversations and where we see this going down. People might be confused uh, in terms of like, does this actually align? But it, it aligns perfectly in terms of how we want to um, you know push forward and the education that you guys are providing. So I think there's a lot in here that people are looking for just um information on our chops on like what you do i know we do have like this uh is, is recorded so i do um this will allow people who are outside of time zones to re-listen to this and i do know that there are a lot of content creators a lot of people that want to create projects a lot of people that are interested in creating projects and don't know where to begin that will be listening to this so what do you guys want to really say to sort of speak to those people who are sort of just you know hiding in the shadows and say hey i have an idea but i don't really know where to begin or i don't really know like what to start what would you guys sort of say to them do you want to take this for me hannah it's up to you <laughs> okay. well i'm interested on your take uh yeah i i think if you have an idea um you can, I mean, <laughs> I don't know how busy I'm going to be, but you can come to me with your idea. Um, you just, you know, send your idea anywhere. Um, I, I've been, you know, struggling since 2015, I think. 2015 is when I started my YouTube channel. I never really knew what I was doing. Never really knew where I was going, but I, I knew I was, you know, I knew I, I had a passion for something. I knew I had. Um, the talent for it. I just didn't know where I was putting it. I didn't know where it was going. Um, I didn't, I didn't, I, I had no idea if, if what I was pursuing was even going to go anywhere. And, um, I, all of that time and that experience that I racked up from 2015 when I was 14 years old to now I'm 21, you know, it, it kind of, I'm able to go back to my old content and show that to people. I mean, I'm able to show kind of my evolution as a person. So, I'd say no matter what you're going to do with your idea, like make sure you put it out there. Don't with, don't withhold it because that's like, it's never going to go anywhere. If you don't, if you don't show it to someone and you have no idea the amount of potential that your idea or your, or your dreams have, unless you take action on them. Uh, I mean, that's the whole reason why I made my name Hannah fire. Um, uh, to kind of insinuate that it's a verb because in order for things to change, it takes action. And um, I, I firmly believe that if you just, you work towards your goals, no matter what anybody tells you, you will, you will get there. Yeah. And for my side, what I would say is ideas are great, but implementation is, you know, much better um implementation is what people look for when they want to fund the project so even if something is rough um i would say get a draft made uh, bring that to us and that is much more likely to you know be something that we can kind of get an idea of what you want to build. If if it's if it is very vague, it is challenging 
to communicate to other people. So get we do we do welcome people that don't know much about the space though. So this yep. isn't to say that if you don't have a set plan, don't come to us because <laughs> you right. still can. You um we do have like we're gonna have certain areas in the art shops platform that are specifically for you know the newcomers and and the people that are like you know, this looks cool. I don't really have a passion for anything, but like I am interested in this platform and I want to see what it's about. So we do, um, we do encourage that, but yeah, I think he's, I think what you're trying to say, Michael is like, if, if they're coming to us with an actual idea to come to like specifically you and me, if they have a genuine idea. Yes. So yes. Um, if, if you have an idea, I would say, Try to be as clear as possible. If there is something that you need help with, um, you know, point that out in your proposal. Um, if it is a very early idea, you know, just be be honest with where the project is and um, what what you need help with. Like what we want to do is help create roadmaps so that um you have a better idea of of you know both the time and money it could take uh to develop a project. Um it's it isn't simple. <laughs> But there is there are definitely processes that we can uh suggest and help, you know whether it's a project that's completely new or a project that might be like faltering because of some kind of problem. As I said, my my goal is personally is to fix problems, help people, and so so uh, the goal with oat chops is basically, you know, it could be as simple as we do a monthly or week or bi weekly check in, uh, just to see how you're progressing in putting together uh like a white paper or a design document or uh, you know, it could be reviewing drafts of a video or a game or some other type of project. But that that is what our community is about. Um, looking at early stage projects, helping um, helping with feedback and then maps making build, building a roadmap maps making with um, other people that we know whether that be like a mentor or a team member or something like that. And then, you know, just helping push the project forward in some way. And, you know, if something really looks good, um, you know, we will definitely say that and we will collaborate with you and, you know, try to bring it forward into the light. Absolutely. And I mean, that's that's also what I've done with some of Hannah's projects. <laughs> awesome. Well, I appreciate yeah. appreciate that. That's definitely some good information, some good strategy for people that are interested in developing their own project or interested in, in pushing ideas through. I do know that we have, you know, people, whether they're in the chat today, um, uh, that have sort of reached out to me as well that have sort of ideas and stuff like that um and people i do know within our own community that do have that so please if you guys uh you know are listening to this uh later on uh please don't hesitate to reach out to michael or hannah um, or any of the team members at art chops and see how they can help out um, and see what areas that uh you guys want to explore again um I think they've been very uh, humble in terms of saying they do have uh, a great team behind them as well that um, has been developing games um, and uh, projects and things along those lines for a number of years. Um, so there is a whole host of people that would be able to sort of help out with that. And I have personally met with them before as well, um, ranging from a variety of services from esports down to, you know, actual 
game and tech development um, or in just in the general sphere um, as well. So do not uh, hesitate to reach out. But thank you guys for that. Um, we will open it up to questions uh, for the last little bit here. I do know in general that there have been um, quite a people that were interested in terms of just getting an overall um, understanding of what Art Chops is. But if there is anyone uh, that does have any questions, please feel free to pose them into the lounge or into that main chat and we can sort of uh, answer them as well. Um, or um, Hannah and Michael can do their best answer. If anyone in the main chat wants to uh, speak up in terms of unmute and uh, and ask a question, feel free to do so as well. I should have some, uh, whenever I get to this portion, I should always have some like Jeopardy music to play. <laughs> That's usually what I do when I troll people. They take too long and we're gaming. I'll just blast bass boosted Jeopardy music. That's awesome. Well, again, I do know that a lot of people were uh, mainly interested in terms of like getting some uh, general background information on art shops, what you guys do, what you guys are. So I do know that a lot of the questions that we did have pre this AMA were surrounded sort of like, what is art shops? What is their sort of like mission? What are their, uh, who are they trying to target? Um, some of those things. So um, I know you guys have already done a great job in terms of uh, answering what is art shops. Um, and maybe just one question I do have is, um, where are you guys going? Like, are you guys looking for a blockchain home? I know that we've talked about uh, certain aspects already between different blockchains, but if you guys are, um, you know, comfortable using a specific style blockchain, like if somebody's coming with an idea from a specific blockchain, can you guys help with that um, or anything along those lines too? Yeah. Um, so we are part of the uh, Polydon uh, DAO. Um, and we also are building partnerships in the um, Hive space right now. Those two are the biggest connections that we have. There are some others that we're in the works on, but uh, it's not, not public yet. So uh, those, those two, poly Polydodes, Polygon Network, um, and Hive. Um, so basically, a couple of our other co-founders, um, they, they are actively working in the blockchain space alongside what they do for our chops. Um, so uh, we have teammates that work actively um, in both of those spaces, Polygon and Hive ecosystems. Nice, very cool. Definitely big, uh, big um, blockchains themselves. Hive, uh, obviously, with uh, Splinterlands and Polygon, with uh, a yeah. various amount of uh, other projects and games. And the Polydodge team as well, very big team. Um, so glad to see that you guys are part of those. Really cool. Um, you guys mentioned a summit. When are you guys thinking to launch that summit? Yeah. So I actually have a flyer. If you want me to drop that image, I can drop that in the lounge too. Yes, please do. Um, hmm. Actually, it doesn't look like I can look like I can post the image. Okay, if you send it to me, I could. Uh, yeah. I okay. There might be a restriction on images sometimes, but yeah. if you send no it problem. To me, then I, could, <laughs> I could post that, repost it. Yeah. For you. Okay. Cool. Awesome. And then once we get that uh, sent over, I'll be able to... Yeah. So to answer the question, though, we don't actually have a exact date on the summit yet because we are still capturing speaker interest. We got two people that have said yes, but, you know, it's just like we probably want to get at least one full panel together. Um, but we are also considering potentially doing like a unconference open space style format um, event at some point, probably like late February, early March. 
Um, but uh, open space refers to kind of like where um, there are a bunch of topics, basically, they get assigned to like different rooms and then um, you know, people kind of filter to the topic that they're interested in and, and there can be like uh, a variety of speakers in each room. Uh, so that that's one format that I'm looking at, and then also, like I said, the format of kind of taking the uh, people on both sides of the spectrum and bringing them together. So we we are kind of in the phase of getting everything together, uh, but we are actively looking for speakers and sponsors. Okay, very cool, very cool. Um, all right, that sounds great. So whenever you guys do get uh, the information on the time frames and stuff like that, please let us know, and then we'll be able to share that as well. Um, yeah. And definitely look out for uh, that for everyone who's listening and watching. So if there are any, I'll pause again for uh, last bit of questions. Um, but again, please feel free to drop them into the main chat, or if you want to jump on a mic, please let me know. Um, but as we come to the conclusion, um, what would you guys, uh, anything that you guys want to add, anything that you guys want to, um, you know, make sure that you get in there uh, about our chops or about yourselves personally, um, I'll allow you guys to sort of have those, t have that time if you like right now. Yeah. I think I've said everything on my end. Is there anything from yours, Hannah? Not that I know of, but you'll probably be hearing a lot from me later. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we are going to be working together on, on building out our uh, outreach strategy um, over the next week or two, um, doing a lot more outreach and getting connected in the space. Also, um, if anyone is going to the virtual East Denver space, um, we, we will probably be in there too. Awesome. Sweet. Perfect. Well, thank you guys. Um, it was a great MA. Great to have you guys a part of the um, part of the community, a part of the Game Exchange family and the group. Um, we're super excited to uh, see what the future holds. And we have already sort of uh, started to, um, you know, push and try and collab on other projects as well uh, in terms of, you know, referring to you guys as well. So I definitely know that there's more to come. Um, so I'm excited to uh, to see where this goes um, and definitely thank you guys for spending the time. I thank everyone for uh, tuning into this Art Shops AMA as well. We will have this recorded. So if you were just popping in and out uh, through any more point in time, this will most likely be posted on our social media tomorrow. Um, but please, if you guys um, don't already, I will, uh, let's just make sure. Yeah. Go follow, jump into their discord channel. Um, you have the virtual road. Um, reload sorry.com with uh matthew um, we have their links there i'll just link their twitter account as well down here um, please go support them and as well support us as well t.mead forward slash game underscore exchange um or game x underscore change um that is our twitter and telegram handle as well uh, play.gameexchange.app uh, for our platform uh, gameexchange.app for our website Follow us on all our social media. Follow our chops on all their social media as well. Hit up Hype Master on his streams. And don't forget to support. Keep playing and hopefully game on. And I thank you guys and hopefully see you guys next time. Cool. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Um, do you have any other scheduled events coming up? Yeah, so we have a couple announcements as well. We are going to be releasing Panda Commander is one of our uh, latest games that we're going to be releasing this week. Um, and it's coming out in the next, next, next quickest time here. Um, and so we have a couple NFTs and stuff that are going to be dropping for Panda Commander on our platform. Um, so those are the next events for this week. We are, um, maybe I'll just say, we do have a, a planned uh, partnership announcement. That's going to be coming uh, with a very, very cool studio as well in the next little bit. So um, just a couple, a couple announcements and a couple game releases. Nice. Um, yeah, 
on our end, I don't think there's any other announcements. I did want to just note uh, one of our team members is also has been listening in. Uh, Maki Magic is one of our team members. So just wanted to note that. <laughs> awesome. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you for that. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll definitely um, make sure that you guys do uh, jump into all the social media channels as much as you can. Uh, send your support and look out for their future events coming up. And don't be surprised if you see some more events from them uh, in our channel as well as we continue going. Awesome. Thank you guys. You guys have a, a good rest of the day. Yep. Thank, thank you. you as well. Thank you.